Hi everyone, hope you're all well. In today's video, we're going, to, we're going to talk about conducting user testing and feedback for your website. So user testing your website means gathering feedback from real users who are asked to interact with your website and provide their thoughts and opinions and impressions on various aspects of its usability and functionality. When it comes to user testing, usually this comes at, right at the end just before the site goes live and people will tend to test their websites for its functionality, but ideally it should be carried out at every point of the web website development uh, road roadmap. User testing can be done through various methods, um, such as in-person testing. So in in-person testing, participants are invited to a location to test your website and their interactions are observed in real time. Then there's remote testing, so participants are given access to your website remotely and their interactions are observed via screen sharing or other remote tools. Then there's A-B testing as well, and this is when users are shown two versions of your website and their interactions and feedbacks are compared to determine which version of the platform you know, perform performs better. During user testing, participants are usually asked to perform specific tasks on the website like finding a product, signing up to a newsletter, completing a purchase, things like that. Their interactions are observed and recorded and their feedback is collected through surveys or interviews. User testing can help identify usability issues and are areas of confusion on your website, allowing you to make improvements that can enhance the user experience and increase engagement and conversion rates. So what do you want to consider when you are condu conducting user testing? There are several important factors that you want to ensure that you, so that you can get, gather valuable feedback that will help you improve a user experience. Here are a few things that you want to keep in mind. The first thing that you want to do is define your goals. So before conducting any kind of user testing, it's important to define your goals and the specific questions that you want to answer. So what do you want to learn from the user testing? What aspects of your website are you more, more concerned about? Answering these kind of questions will help you design the tests that are more focused and effective as well. You want to make sure that you recruit the right participants. So when recruiting participants for user te testing, it's important to find people who are representative of your, of your target audience. So you want to consider factors like age, gender, location, interests, as well as their level of experience with your website or similar websites. When you're conducting user testing, be sure to provide clear and concise instructions for the participants. So explains what explain what tasks they need to complete and how to provide feedback. Make sure that the participants understand what is expected of them and that they feel comfortable asking questions if they feel unsure about anything. You also want to make sure that you observe the and rec record participants' behavior um, and interactions with your website during the user testing. Um, things like video recording, screenshots and notes can help you identify issues and opportunities for improvement as well. You also want to analyze and prioritize feedback. So after conducting user testing, it's important to analyze the feedback you've received and prioritize the most critical ones to address. Look for patterns in its feedback and consider the impact that addressing each issue will have on the overall user experience. By considering these factors when conducting user testing, you can gather more valuable feedback that will help you improve the user experience on your website and achieve your business goals in general. So here are some recommendation, recommended stages um, for conducting user testing during the website development roadmap. So the first phase is the design phase, and during this phase, user testing can help identify potential usability issues, identify areas where users might get confused, and test the effectiveness of a different design element, like different color schemes, different layouts, and navigation. This can help you make necessary changes early on in the process. Then you have the prototype phase, so user testing can help validate the functionality of the prototype and identify any bugs or technical issues that need to be addressed. Then you have the actual development phase, so user testing can help identify issues that, uh, with the website's functionality, like broken links, any loading times, um, and other kind of technical issues as well. Um, and lastly, you have the post-launch phase. So after launching the website, user testing can help you to continue to identify areas of improvement and make ongoing um, optimizations to the user experience as well. In summary, user testing can be conducted at different stages of the website, um, website development roadmap, but starting early can help you catch potential issues before they become major problems and they can help ensure a better user experience for your visitors. 
So there are several tools that can help make user testing and gathering feedback easier for your, for your website. Here are a few popular ones. So firstly, you have user testing. So user testing is a platform that connects you with real users who will test your website and provide feedback. You can set up specific tasks for users to complete and get video recordings of their interactions along with um, actual written feedback from other people. It's not just for websites, you can also use it for mobile apps, platforms and other digital products as well. Um, some of the key features of the user testing platform is user recruitment. So user testing has a large pool of participants from all over the world who are available to provide insight, provide feedback and test your website or your app. Um, and you can select participant based on the various demographic criteria like uh, age, gender, location and interests as well. So all of that can ensure that you're getting feedback from your target audience and not just a kind of randomized audience um, as well. They also have a feature called task design. So with user testing, you can design specific tasks for users to complete on your website, such as finding a product, signing up for a service pr and provide feedback on that specific feature. And these kind of task designs can help you understand how users interact with your website or app and identify areas of uh, improvement as well. They also have really good feedback collections. So user testing uh, provides video recordings of each user session along with written feedback on their experience as well. You can see exactly how users navigate your website or app and get insights into their thought process as they interact with your product as well. They also have a analysis and reporting feature. So this kind of tools help you a lot analyze and interpret the feedback you receive from users and you can filter and, um, and sort various feedback by uh, by the different criteria like demographics, task completion rates, identify trends or patterns that can help you improve your website design um, and development as well. Um, and it can also be integrated with other tools and platforms like A-B testing tools or project man management tools and this kind of helps you streamline your testing and development process as well. Overall, user testing is a comprehensive platform that can help you gain valuable insights into how users interact with your website and identify areas for improvement. By using user testing to regularly test and optimize your digital products, you can improve the user experience and ultimately achieve your business goals as well. Next up is Hotjar. So Hotjar provides a suite of tools for website optimization, including heat maps and user recordings that can help you see how visitors are interacting with your website. Um, and you can also set up surveys to gather feedback from users as well. And lastly, we have Maze. So Maze is a user testing and usability testing platform that allows you to test your website prototypes and gather feedback from users. You can set up specific tasks for users to complete and gather quantitative data on how easy or difficult they find each task to complete. Overall, these tools can help you conduct user testing and gather feedback more efficiently and effectively, and they can make data-driven decisions about how to improve the user experience on your website. So why is user testing important? It's important for several reasons when it comes to website development. Some things to consider is, um, first of all, is to define, define your business goals. So before conducting user testing, it's important to define your goals and specific questions that you want to answer. What do you want to learn from the user testing? What aspects of your website are you most concerned about? Um, and answering these kind of questions help make your site more focused and effective. It's really important that you conduct user testing as it improves user experience. So it allows you to gain valuable insights into how visitors interact with your website, when they find, uh, what they find confusing or frustrating, what changes you can make to improve the overall experience. By addressing these issues, you can improve the usability of your website and make it more intuitive and user-friendly and ultimately increase user satisfaction. It's also important to add for user testing as they can identify technical issues. So user testing can help you identify technical issues with your website like broken links or slow page load times. By identifying and addressing these issues, you can improve the performance and reliability of your website and ensure that visitors can access the information and resources they need without frustration. And it can also help validate your design choices and ensure that they are effective in achieving your intended goals. So for example, user testing can help you determine if your navigation is easy to use, if your call to action buttons are clear, and if your visual design supports your branding message. Um, overall, this can save you time and money. So user testing can help you identify issues in early in the development process before they become major problems that require expensive fixes. By making changes early, you can save time and money on development costs and improve the overall quality of your website. In summary, user testing is an important part of website development that can help you improve your user experience, identify technical issues, 
validate de design choices and save time and money in the long run. By conducting user testing regularly, you can ensure that your website is meeting the needs of your visitors and achieving your goals.